safi bana naamini unaendelea vizuri kabisa popote pale unazidi kufuatilia double update mimi naitwa Mr Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa nimekuletea story ya Pauli Njoroge A to Z namna ambavyo alikamatwa na baada ya siku chache akawachiliwa huru lakini kitu kimoja ambacho inabidi tukubaliane hata kabla sijakupa hii story trust me polisi wana tabia mbaya sana ndio wanaweza wakalazimisha eh, mpaka yani wewe ukamatwe uingie ndani utoe pesa yani na wafeel tu vizuri kwamba huyo tumemweza sasa poli na mefunguka kupitia ukurasa wake wa Facebook and trust me huu mtu bana ana ushawishi mkubwa sana yani miongoni mwa watoto wa kike ambao wana ushawishi mkubwa kwenye uh, mitandao ya kijamii ni Pauli Njoroge hasa hapa Facebook twende direct kabisa Pauli anasema the order to have me arrested was issued last week on Wednesday by the powers that be and the DCI immediately started tracking me they finally pounced on Saturday 22nd July at about 2 pm yani hapa kushikwa kwake Oda hii hapa ilitoka obvious mnajua ilipotoka jamani tusidanganyane eh Raila hizi akatumana poli na shikwe Ruto I mean uh, Uhuru Kenyatta hizi akatuma poli na shikwe so hapa walitumana kina William Samoei Ruto uh, Rigathi Gachagua shikwe lakini uh, kupitia DCI na hiyo ilikuwa ni uh, wiki jana Jumatano that's Wednesday I think Wednesday kulikuwa na maandamano hebu mkumbukeni vizuri Wednesday kulikuwa na maandamano and uh, nasema vizuri kabisa DCI walianza kabisa kumtrack na wakakuja kumpata Saturday 22nd July at about 2 pm saa 8 anaendelea kwa kusema kwamba on Friday evening I had received a strange phone call the caller had identified himself as a person working for a bank this person claimed that he had some confidential documents that he wanted to give me in Malindi and asked me to go alone This startled me or startled me because I had not posted anywhere that I was at the coast. So how did he know? Anyway, I decided to ignore. Nduta also received a call on Saturday morning from a person who wanted to know whether she does tours in Mombasa. She discussed these things and decided to carry on with our day. So kama unanielewa? So uh, hapa Pauli anasema sasa uh, Ijumaa alipigiwa simu sio kama watu wa Jumamosi sasa Ijumaa alipigiwa simu na mtu fulani akawa anasema oh yeye anafanya kazi na benki fulani and kuna documents anatakiwa kumpatia sasa Paul Njoroge yani kuna documents huu mtu anlitakiwa kumpea uh, uh, Paul Njoroge sasa Paul Njoroge wachana na issue hata ya benki kilichomshtua ni hey, huu mtu anajuaje niko cost <laughs> sio kama unanielewa huu mtu anajuaje niko cost so Paul na kakausha akasema ah mi wacha niendelee na kazi zangu. So akampigia tena rafiki yake um, ambaye anaitwa Nduta kama siyakosea. So huyu Nduta ikawa anamwambia, wanamuuliza yani kama yeye anafanyaga maswala ya tours na nini na vitu kama hivyo. So waka discuss lakini baadaye pia wakaamua sasa kuendelea na kazi zao. Sasa hiyo ni Jumamosi. Now, anaendelea kwa kusema kwamba we left the hotel that afternoon to go see Gedi Ruins, Hell's Kitchen and the first church in Malindi which was set up by the Portuguese. When we left the hotel we found a double cabin vehicle parked outside the resort. Nduta commented that the occupants had the de- uh, demeanor of police officers but our driver Emmanuel told us they were probably probably just neighbors. We passed the vehicle and proceeded to the uh, to join the tarmac road. We had hardly gone a kilometer before the very same vehicle blocked us on the road and asked us to follow them to a Tamo police station. I was however able to alert my advocate and a co group of friends that we had been picked up by the police. Sasa wakiwa kwenye hoteli sasa wanatoka waingie kwenye barabara. Hmm? Kumbuka kuna gari, kuna, kuna gari wameacha kule nje double cabin flani. So double cabin flani rafiki wa Pauli alikuwa nadhani ah labda walikuwa majirani hapa pia na wao walikuja shughuli sio walikuja kutulia na nini na vitu kama hivyo. <laughs> Cha ajabu ni kwamba Pauli na rafiki zake walipotoka Eh, walipotoka tu hivi. Ah, double cabin ikawa block. Na kuambia inabidi sasa mtufuate mpaka kwenye kituo cha polisi cha watamu. <laughs> We? So faster faster Pauli na kashtua eh, advocate wake, marafiki, waje vitu kama hivi bwana lazima upige uh, simu moja mbili tatu, ambie bwana, 
mimi nimechukuliwa hapa na gari afu mimi siwaelewi labda kitu kimoja ambacho naweza nikasema ni maafisa wa polisi and ikawa hivyo kaambia watu now andla kwa kusema kwamba once we arrived at the station they took my phone they however allowed Luta to keep hers as so long as it was within their sight the situation however changed and even her phone was confiscated they also took Emmanuel's phone sasa hapa walipofika kwenye kituo cha polisi cha watamu um, Pauline alichukua simu yake eh Luta rafiki yake pia ah wakamwambia wewe Luta wewe baki na simu haya huyu dereva pia alibaki na simu lakini baadaye vitu vikageuka simu zao zote zikachukuliwa haya they uh, then proceeded to interrogate me and Luta in separate rooms Our driver Emmanuel was outside in the vehicle. As all this was going on, the officer questioning Luta suggested she could leave, but she declined. Said she would wait for me. Oh, yes, sasa wakiwa kwenye chuo cha polisi. Ndio polisi sasa anaambia Luta endeni. Wewe enda. Eh, wewe enda. Alafu dereva pia aende. Sasa nataka uone namna ambavyo polisi waga wanachezea watu. So, Luta alifanya vizuri. Luta akuacha Paul Njoroge. Kwa sababu nduta imagine kitu kienda kitokee Pauline tuseme labda atafanywe kitu kibaya. Wewe unaweza kalamu nani? Kwa nini nduta anaachiliwa na umekamatwa pamoja na huyu Pauline Joroge? So nduta naye akatumia kile akasema mimi stoki hapa. Yes, mimi siwezi nikatoka hapa mimi nangojea po Pauline. Si tu umekamatwa naye. Tupo hapa na mimi stoki. Ndio kitu ambacho kinaendelea hapa. Now, after about two hours, the police a uh, officer or the officers took us back to our hotel to search our rooms <laughs> in my room they found collagen and vitamin c supplements which were in the container i purchased them in those were were the label uh, psych- uh, psychotropic substances they finished the search in my room and we began to to uh, take inventory of the items they had taken which now included my laptop as we were doing this one officer came carrying a, lo- a roll of bangi hey! and said that she had found it sorry um hapo imenipotelea kidogo tu unaelewa bwana hivi vitu sometimes um waga vinachanganya kidogo now um hebu tuko wapi jamani tuko same flani hapa hebu nianze kwa they finished the search in my room and we began to uh, take inventory of the items they had taken uh, which now included uh, my laptop As we were doing this, one officer came carrying a, lo- a roll of bangi and said that she engaged or or and uh, uh, one officer came carrying a roll of bangi and said that she had found it behind the TV. Nduta and the officer engaged in a back and forth. That was my, uh, the first time in my life uh, that I was see- seeing a roll of bangi. My friends can confirm that. <laughs> Elijaambia police wana tabia mbaya. Kuna wengine wana tabia mbaya sana. Kwa nini wanalazimisha vitu? So wakiwa sasa kwenye na kituo cha polisi ilibidi sasa warudi wapige search ma hoteli huko. Eh sema ambapo walilalia. So sasa pale eh, wakakutana na um, laptop eh, wakaangalia siju nyuma ya TV si wakapata eh, wakapata bangi. Yaani cha ajabu hii search inafanyika wewe ukiwa nje. Yaani for example mimi nimekuja kwako <laughs> na kwambia toka nje mimi niingie nitafute kitu. Afu natoka na bangi, afu nashindwa. Ai hii bangi wewe umetoa wapi? Afu ana insist kabisa. Siti niitoa nyuma ya TV, nime nimeiona hapo. Asa unaona namna ambavyo wa watu wali, uh, walitaka <laughs> kumkamata huu uh, Pauline lakini wakatumia mbinu. Aya, when we got back to the police station, they informed us that they would also search the car. Mind you the driver had been in the car throughout this episode, so if we had something to hide, by this time he would already have done it. Interestingly, As soon as the officer started searching, two rolls of bangi appeared out of nowhere. No one of the seats, <laughs> nowhere on the on one of the seats. At that point I told the officers that it was now clear the games were um, they were playing in order to fix us. But since we were helpless in this situation, we were going to leave the matter to God in heaven who judges the affairs of men. It was obvious that they were thinking through the uh, what to charge us with and trying to make anything stick. So wakirudi wal, walirudi kwenye kituo cha polisi. So pale e eh, kitu kikawaambia hebu acha tu pia na maga na uh, gari lenu hapa. So wakaanza ku search gari. E eh, cha ajabu sasa kwenye gari ya, ya, ya Pauline Njoroge ndio utana huyu driver wakapata bangi kwenye kiti. Hey, bro, mimi nataka nikuulize. Pauline anatuambia gari lilikuwa hapo. Yaani toka wanakamatwa mpaka hiyo muda wote walikuwa hapo, dereva alikuwa tu hapo hapo. Wakasachwa kasachwa wakapata bangi. 
Sasa bango alipataje? Poli nauliza vizuri. Kama kulikuwa na bangi kwenye gari, dereva anajua vizuri hapa tumekamatwa. Unataka kuniambia angeshindwa kuficha? Angeficha. Ndio hisi inaonekana. E, so hapa tayari walikuwa washaingizwa uh, sempa baya. Long story short, the three of us were locked up and one of our lawyers who came to the station that night read to us the OB statement which was already in circulation. It indicated that we had been arrested for being in possession of narcotics and um a, so, a psychotropic substances. Fast forward on Monday, we were up by 5 a.m. ready to be presented to call, uh, to call that morning, but by midday we were still in the cell not knowing what was happening. Later on, we learned that those dealing with the matter in Watamu were still not sure what to charge us with or who would appear as the investigating officer since this was really not their case the orders were coming from Nairobi ah! so unajua wamekuwa locked pale wao wanasubiri kupelekwa um, kotini poli ndio ta pamoja na dereva hmm. so hao watu pia ikawa nashindwa eh hao watu tutawachaji na nini ni nini tutafanya ni au ni nani atafanya hii investigation kwa sababu yani hesabu haziingiani and uh, i think pia walikuwa nasubiri orders kutoka huku Nairobi anaendelea kwa kusema meanwhile in those 15 counts in the application none of them touched on Luta and Emmanuel zero in short the state had detained two innocent Kenyans for two nights and presented them in court without a single reason if this is not madness i don't know what is by dragging the two into the smear campaign regarding narcotics they endangered Luta's livelihood and caused immense distress to Emmanuel whose father had just been released from hospital two days earlier and was in a very uh, delicate situation <laughs> and like kusema kwamba as for me I still do not know what crime I had committed to warrant my de- detention as we speak my gadgets are with the cyber crime unit on Kiambu road because the powers that uh, be are uh, desperately still trying to get something to pin on me after their previous attempt failed terribly and expose their evil scheme uh, vitu vyake bado vinapatikana kule uh, Kiambu road kwa DCI and uh, ni kulazimisha wanalazimisha hiyo e, unatakao kujua so poli na yeye kwa upande wake anahisi kwamba hawa watu bado wanamtafutia kitu fulani cha kumwekea ehe ndio isemekane kwamba oh poli ni wewe si umefanya nini unanielewa so nasubiri kuona itakwaje uh, this is my message to them uh, ni message yani kutoka kwa poli nikwenda kwa maafisa wa polisi i shall not be silenced by detaining us you only strengthen our resolve We will not sit and watch as some fellow try to turn the clock back. Recreating our country's dark past, patriots of the generation sacrificed sweat and blood to, uh, to liberate our country from dictatorship so that we may have the democratic space we currently enjoy. Because of our present circumstances, the responsibility to guard jealousy our hard and freedom has fallen upon our generation. We must bear that the responsi- um, we must bear that responsibility bravely. To our family friends and supporters I say thank you for your overwhelming love and prayers to our lawyers thank you for spending a, co- a couple of sleepless nights preparing a strong defense to the media you stood up for the truth thank you ndo afro cinema ambayo iliendelea lakini serikali si mnajiaibisha jamani kwani sasa muwekelee wale watu kwamba sio ndio utana kina polling kwamba walikuwa na bangi <laughs> we sasa mimi waga nasema na mimi na rasta jamani Siku atakuja kuniwekea bangi nitakuwa itakwaje. <laughs> anyway, uh, wacha subiri tuone itakwaje. Uh, mambo ni kama hayo, tunaishi kwenye maisha ambayo uh, matakome pamoja na chebukati walishatuchagulia and uh, wamekataa pia hawataki kurudi nyuma. Ndio namna ambavyo wameamua na sisi. Tutafanyaje? Inabidi tupite tu hiyo njia tulishalazimishwa, si ndio? Nipe maoni yako hapo chini kwa sehemu ya comments lakini kubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati. Bye bye.